Dr. Tim Gallagher, the medical examiner for the entire state of Florida. That's a big deal because usually you have a medical examiner for the county or for a, a, a few counties together. He's the medical examiner for the whole state of Florida. And let me assure you, there's never a lack of business. Dr. Tim Gallagher, blunt force trauma to the head on this beautiful young 23-year-old mom, likely from a rock near where her body was found. Dr. Gallagher, all of her teeth were taken out and she was so bruised, police believe that she was tortured. Let, let's just start with the teeth. Very often, teeth are taken out, fingertips are removed, so there will be no way to ID the dead body. How is it that your teeth identify you? Well, thanks again for that intro, Nancy. Um, yeah, we use dental records and uh, post-mortem teeth x-rays to identify people, unidentified people all the time, uh, several times a week, many times a month to do that. Um, if you look at dental x-rays, each one of your teeth have very individualized uh, characteristics that are, that are custom just to you. So if we can take the... Uh, uh, dental records from when they were alive and then uh, take x-rays from when they are deceased and match up those teeth. Uh, all we really need are three to five points of uniquely identifying features to positively identify that person. Um, you know, and to have teeth removed forcibly like they do um, you know, requires a great deal of force, especially in somebody young like this 23-year-old woman. So this was, if she was alive, this is probably one of the most uh, painful procedures that you can do in terms of torture for her. So um, my heart actually goes out to the family and to uh, her children uh, because she had suffered so much. Dr. Gallagher, is there a way to determine if her teeth were pulled out while she was still alive? That's going to be very difficult uh, without somebody witnessing it um, as far as looking at the autopsy and looking at where the teeth were in the body. Uh, all we can say is that uh, they were removed at the time of her death or around the time of her death, but there's no well, way to actually determine. wait a minute. Determine. If they had been removed post-mortem, after she was killed as a way to keep her from being identified, would the gums have bled because the heart wouldn't be pumping blood as opposed to if they were removed in life, it would be bleeding profusely? Oh, that's absolutely true. You can look at in the uh, gingiva or the gums to see if there is any hemorrhage or bleeding that uh, occurred there because uh, she had a blood pressure. But you're right, Nancy, uh, if a tooth is removed, uh, when the person is dead, then you will not have that bleeding around the gums. And you could uh, say with a great deal of confidence that that tooth was removed after they had expired. Jackie, did I tell him that before he told me? I'm so happy. I've well, never I learned so much from you, Nancy. I told learned, you I a so single much. thing until today. I want a copy of this. 